made in Hollywood. Now available on your home screen. From author and executive producer Neil Gaiman comes season three of the Star's original fantasy drama series, American Gods, starring Ian McShane. Hello, I'm Neil Gaiman. I wrote the novel American Gods, and now I'm an executive producer of the show American Gods. And here on Made in Hollywood is a scene. I don't do your bidding anymore. If I don't have the loyalty of my own son, how can I expect support for anyone else? Whenever I've written anything and then seen what it becomes on the screen, whether it was Coraline or Good Omens, or in this case, American Gods, it's never quite what you imagined. It's sometimes very, very different. And sometimes it's like walking around inside your own head. You're gonna have to come up with a better con than that. Well. We find season three, Shadow is in hiding. He's grown his hair out, his beard out. He's hiding from the police, the FBI, uh, and the gods, because at the end of the season two, everyone was after him. They, 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 were, they were kind of hunting him down as the walls were closing in. The shadow gets separated from Mr. Wednesday. The overall giant plot of new gods versus old gods is chugging along, and that's not going away. Well, looky who's here. We will hunt and kill every one of you that gets in our way. Our art department and our set department were incredible because this is Lakeside, my favorite part of the book that's shot in a snowy town. What they built were sets of snow. They literally built fields and, and Lakeside, the town itself, snow piles and hills and lampposts and windowsills. And they built all this snow and brought it to set when you have Shadow wandering around Lakeside, this little Wisconsin city in a frozen winter. Yeah, this is this was the thing I had in my head. Here it is, and it's playing out in front of us. And that is such a very, very strange and powerful feeling. We have to fight! Much more than this. It doesn't solve anything. War only brings misery and death. As an executive producer, what I'm going to be doing is working with the showrunner at the beginning to craft the shape of the season, to talk about what the plot is, to talk about the various character arcs, to get all of that stuff hammered out. Neil and his genius uh, just seem to tap into so much of what's going on in the zeitgeist. We were actually really, really lucky with our um, whole writer's room. Uh, they, they brought us in, or I'll, I'll speak for myself, they brought me in and pretty much outlined the whole like broad stroke arc. So I knew more or less where I would be going. There were still surprises here and there. We, we see these characters go into these isolation spaces and, and really grappling uh, with the question of who am I? Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.